Mucosal parts such as wounds, eyes, mouth, and genitals. Why would you put this on your genitals? Don't answer that. That feels weird. Ah, oh, that is on, still on one. Hey team, welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, therefore it is a review day. I've got a fitness fad on our hands today. Honey. <laughs> You're cute. We've got ourselves a package from Wish. I am wondering if this is, because I've ordered two things, and yes, I do order a bit from Wish. I wonder if this is the, the ab cruncher thing, that electric, because it does feel like it could be. Um, you put it on your abs and it's supposed to, it sends electrical impulses into your ab muscles and it's supposed to be like you're, you've just done a whole bunch of sit-ups without actually doing anything. This is it. Intelligent fitness equipment. Here's what she looks like. Obviously, you'll put the middle bit, which does all of the electrical impulsing, on here and then this adheres to your stomach. Now we've all seen these little things and if you haven't seen them, I will insert a picture somewhere. That you put on your abdomen, uh, it comes with um, electronic pulse. And what it's supposed to do is it's supposed to send electronic impulses into your abdominal muscles to make them contract. So it feels like you're doing exercise like sit-ups, crunches, etc. when you're actually doing nothing at all. This is what it's come in. It came in a clear bag. It has its manual right in the middle there. When you take that out, I'll put the manual aside. I'll read it in a minute. When you remove it from the case, it comes with this. It is sealed, safety sealed. You can see the tab at the top. This would be the front that faces out because you can see it's got two little metal prongs and then this side would have the adhesive gel that sticks to your skin. It also comes with a device. This is what it looks like. It's got the clasps on the back and I've just put batteries in it. I had to go get some because I didn't have any of these small, this small, the tiny, tiny ones. And I've just turned it on. Let's crack into the instructions and see exactly what we're supposed to be doing. Now I did purchase this from Wish. I saw it on Instagram and I clicked on the link. It took me to another website, but I know that I saw it on Wish and I was like, well, I'm not going to pay $40 when I can get it for $8 on Wish. Will they be the same thing? Probably not. So these are the, this is the instruction booklet. It's double sided. There are four panels to it. I won't go through everything. There is a warning uh, on the second page. It says, for the following situations, please consult your doctor before use. Patients who are being treated by doctors or have a physical abnormality should not use. So all of these are people who shouldn't be using this or should really consider seeking out medical advice before they do. Malignant tumor patients, pregnant women and maternity, patients with heart, blood pressure, disease and cranial nerve abnormalities, patient who is taking medication and has a temperature above 38 degrees, patient with infectious disease, skin dysfunction, skin disease, acute disease, uh, patients who need to be rested, abnormal bleeding, not free to express, express their wishes, uh, patients with sensory impairment due to high peripheral circulatory disorders of diabetes, skin allergies to electronode pads, children under 14 should never use, mucosal parts such as wounds, eyes, mouth and genitals, why would you put this on your genitals? Don't answer that. Spinal tattoo part, the part of the hair removal treatment on the day, abdomen during physiological period, Patient with implanted medical electronic device such as a heart rate regulator, pacemaker, etc., etc. Patient with medical device such as an artificial heart or lung. And patients with wearable medical electronic instruments such as an electrocardiograph scanner. 
Okay, that's a lot of people who should not use this. Let's get to the instructions. Disassemble the packaging bag, mount the main engine on the massage pad, remove transparent protective film from the massage pad, attach the massage patch to the body part that needs massage. I'm just gonna put it on my abdomen. Start up, press the on button, which is also the increasing button if you want to increase the shock, I guess. Uh, press the off or decrease button to decrease strength, blah, blah, blah. Uh, FYI, if it's kind of noisy in the background, it's really windy here. It is recommended to use 12 to 15 minutes, two to three times a day. If you continue to use it for a long time, you may feel tired or unwell. Do not exercise within half an hour after eating, which may cause discomfort. And it says to clean your skin uh, in order to preserve the adhesive gel on the patch. All right, I just wiped down my stomach. Let's open her up see if it sticks and see if it does anything. Tearing in right now. It feels really sturdy. Doesn't feel cheap and it's quite thick. It smells weird. All right, it says to remove the film. Oh, okay, I get it. Well, that's sticky. Let's attach it to my stomach. I will show you after it's on my stomach. Could I have attached it before I stuck it to my skin? Because I can't get it to clip in. I'm going to have to take it off. It feels weird. It literally said to do that in the instructions and I just disregarded the whole thing. Round two. It's on my stomach. Let's turn her on, shall we? It's on, you can see the light. I can feel, I've got it on setting number one. Well, that's number one. I do feel it sending little shocks out. I mean, it doesn't feel like anything intense. I'm gonna turn it up. Oh! That's on number two. <laughs> Look at it going crazy. Oh, that is not pleasant at all. Oh, my whole abdomen is shaking. How does this feel like a sit up? This doesn't feel like a sit up. It feels like I'm being punched in the stomach. <laughs> okay, so I moved it up a little bit because it was sitting a little low on my stomach and now that I've moved it up a little so it's a little bit higher now you can still see it moving it's such an odd sensation now that it's a little higher it does feel like it's hitting my abdominals whereas before it was way too low and it felt like it was like I said before like I was just being punched in the stomach it was kind of winding me and it's on the same setting. Now there are four settings to this. I really don't know if I could take it. Should I try? Uh, so you can see, let me move it. It's on one and it's moving around. I don't know if I've got the guts to go up to <laughs> any higher. Oh, all right. still not fun that is on still on one. <laughs> oh, I am not gonna be able to go up to number four oh. those of you who have a high tolerance to pain I have a high tolerance to pain but oh my gosh that was insane kind of reminded me of the electro pen that I did a review of so that watch my shoulder 
That was very pinpointed, obviously, because it's just coming out of here. This is your entire abdomen. I can, I can definitely see the reactions. So if you look this up and you watch any of the reactions of the product being tested, I can definitely sympathize with those faces because that was crazy intense. Will it actually do anything? Now that I've actually stopped it, I do feel like it's done something. Maybe it's just traumatized me and I'm just thinking I've got like the placebo effect happening in my brain. Will I continue to use this? Probably not, but in the interest of giving it a thorough go, I will use it for this week and I will wrap this up next Monday. Thanks for watching team. We are 32 days away from Adam and I going on our cruise. Excitement is starting to seep in. However, I did recently get an email from our cruise liner, Royal Caribbean, about the coronavirus. They are stepping up their measures to make sure that the out or any potential outbreak is not going to happen or it's going to be 100% controlled. The measure that they're taking is insane. I did not pay thousands of dollars to go on a holiday and not be able to go because of a virus. I will see you again soon.